Hello and welcome back to the Mighty Miniatures campaign. It's episode 26. It has been one of the hottest days so far, with the UV index reaching 9, which will turn you into a bag of crisps in about 30 minutes. Even if you're uh, reasonably black, you'll still burn in, in under an hour, so it's been pretty bad. Super hot, and we have this three and a half skull recovery, which we were gonna do. And I think we were gonna take the Vindicator along, weren't we? I'm pretty sure that we were. I'm not sure I need Medusa though. That job's done. All right, let's do it. These other missions have got better um, payouts, but this could potentially be a good payout for us. So let's do it. Mac Warriors, prepare for combat. Oh, I'm so hot. My the uh my tactical acumen is going to be pretty bad in this heat. <laughs> <clears throat> ah, so in case you didn't know, I live on a little island in the middle of the sea. So what happens is all the light just bounces off the sea and just points at the island and everything is so bright at the moment. Just um if you've ever been on a stage or something and there's all the bright lights pointing at you, it's a bit like that at the moment. It's pretty bad. Nice, I like this mission. I like this map in terms of... Um, which facility? That one. Okay, so we want to do the secondary facility first, which is up here on this rock. And this seems like the ideal path to get up there. So that's the path we're going to take. Coordinates received. Maybe we can even lure the enemy into an ambush. Let's go, boys. As always, the Shadow Hawks take the front line because they're slightly faster than everything else. Moving out. On the move. Aye, aye. Of course, my Shadow Hawks are equipped with sneakers. For sneaking. Okay, bad guy. He is a medium or a tactical heavy. Let's see what else happens. Big pause. And big pauses usually mean that there are heavies out there. Should we go and get this guy, maybe? I'm not sure if I want to run into this base, you see, because I might trigger more enemies. I 
Um. Yeah, what the hell. It's a tank. The tank should be an easy kill. They usually are. Waiting for orders. Ooh. Good to go. Sprinting. Ready for orders. Full speed, no target. Okay, so we Secondary asset has been secure. We have a high ground position which is advantageous. That's interesting. He is going around. This guy might actually be ideal to be picked off. One, two, three, four, five. Receiving you. Can you hit him from there? Let's start with this guy, shall we? It's a fully armored trebuchet. Oh, he hit the head. That's nice. Ooh, an SRM carrier that has to die. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh huh. That has to die right now. I need two solid connections in the same place, maybe three. Special delivery. Oh come on! How could you survive that? Okay. Um, actually, the AC2s would probably be better against the trebuchet. I want the missile splatter to get into that weak point on the SRM carrier. Nice. Receiving you. No real way to get a clean shot. Just a bombardment shot. That's okay. We're going to have to play this very carefully. I might have to back out from this front line. Back out and take out this guy who's coming around the back. Ouch. 
you go first just to put your bulwark up unfortunately he's hiding the side that actually uh, has the um, the most damage never mind nice Trebuchets don't like it when you expose their torsos. Okay. That's easy enough. Nice hits in the LRMs, but no explosions, unfortunately. No shot. No shot, but it is the disco back. Going back. Oh, Chicken Walker. Ready for orders. Sweet. This should rip one of his arms off. Hopefully. Nice. Reporting. Critical hit. I've been sensor locked. Okay. And whatever that is. Just thinking here. I think I want to do a tactical withdrawal here. Otherwise, I'm looking at return fire from quite a few mechs. Oh, nice. I wasn't expecting to knock him down. Oh, he died! He only had 3 HP, so between the headshot, the torso hit, and the fallover, he's dead. Gonna lure these guys into this valley and pick them off one by one instead of standing up here and just trading. I don't like trades. Especially not with a friggin' genuine bona fide hunchback. You. 
Fall back. This is going to be a long mission, this one. I can smell it. The evil chicken takes its move. If we're lucky, maybe one of the enemies will be a uh, jump jet capable and we'll just jump up here. That's always funny when it happens. Now what, my friends? They are going south. Divide and conquer. Oh wow, that guy's like got his back exposed. I could almost just run up here and shoot him in the back and maybe kill him. Is that a clean rear sector hit? No. No, it is not. I think while those three circumnavigate the globe, we will adopt a position where we can engage these two. Standing by. Really? You got a shot from there? Mother of God, it's a grasshopper. Full strength, too. And braced. I'm gonna barely do 30 damage to it if I fire now. Well, whatever, I'm in cover. Maybe if I can lure it in, I can get behind it. Let's prepare an ambush. Oh, a headshot! Pilot's injured. Nice. Excellent jump jet capability. Moving to position. Hopefully he moves forward, then we'll jump in behind him and his friend and start doing surgery on his back. While these guys try and work out what the hell it is they want to do with themselves. They're turning around. But without jump capability, they're not really of any threat right now. What is this? Whatever it is, it's not close enough to do anything. Standing by. Yes! Come on, come in. God damn it, he's playing it really safe. Commander. What 
What is it? Oh, a shadow hawk. That's okay. We pummeled aside, we ripped the weapons off, just like we did with the other mech, or we were attempting to do before the pilot had a heart attack and was just kind of like, you know what? I quit. I quit living. Get him! Receiving you. Moving to position. Okay. All these side hits really should be starting to pile up now. Right, I'm going to vigilance this guy. He's not actually badly damaged. The arm is not heavily armoured because the arm represents uh, not much firepower for the Shadow Hawk. Well, no firepower for the Shadow Hawk, so it's not armoured particularly. But as quickly as I can, I want to rip this guy's side off so he can't fight back. <clears throat> and he's heavy, so he's got he's got no chance to stop me on initiative. Keep firing. Nice. Hell, if he's only got three injuries, he might die of pilot incapacitation as well. He has taken a headshot. Commander? These mediums are going to take too long to get into position to unstick my ambush. Roger that. Oh, that leg is getting pummeled. Just got to avoid this hunchback at all costs until such time as I can ambush him and take him out quickly, swiftly, and mercilessly. What's going on with this mech warrior? I thought you had a shot on this guy. Did he move slightly? Couldn't have. Um. Hmm. Well, I could have sworn I had a direct shot from where I was, but apparently I don't, so I'm just going to move back and make sure I have a direct shot. Get him! Break the leg, or knock him over. That'll do. Sweet! We ambushed him and we took him out before he even had a chance to fire back. The Shadow Hawk is next. Good to go. You are caught in the ambush, my friend. Oh, he took a headshot. They don't have an angle from down there. They have to actually go around to get a shot, 
which is h it, hilarious. If you look at it from this angle, it's more obvious. You see, there's no shot because this angle's too steep. They have to actually come up this ramp. Let's conserve the missiles. Firing. Not necessary from this angle. If only I could get the head right, that would be awesome. But unfortunately, <coughs> headshots are a bit one in a million. Well, they're one in a hundred. Oh, this guy's got the right idea. He should have a shot from there. You're next, you evil turkey. That's where the AC-5 is. Sweet, I've done enough damage to it. I could surgically remove it next turn. Ha! That's a funny target switch, my friend. This mech is certainly my most dangerous mech, but uh, it's also completely undamaged, more or less. Uh, sorry, not this mech. The um, Vindicator is actually more dangerous. Ninety. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Get that CT. Oh damn it! He's down to thirty. Slow ass hunchback is nearly in position to join this fight. I'm thinking I murder the Shadow Hawk and then change where the engagement is. On it. Come on, get that CT. That's where I keep the AC too. Left torso. Wow, he's actually close enough to punch. However, that would put this mech in undue risk. Still, once the ammo starts to run out, I'll have to consider it. Thirty, twenty-six, sixty-two. <clears throat> I can't really waste my precise shot on this. At least not yet. Adjust your angle slightly. And please finish what you started. Right, Commander. Yes. Sweet. Two big threats gone.
I'll have to pull this shadow hawk out very soon. Cause she won't take much more. Good to go. This Wolverine is next on my naughty list. This hunchback's probably in range now. Yeah, he's in range from there. Oof! Oof! Solid hit on the right arm, but no weapons in the right arm on the Shadow Hawk. It's just a shield arm. Ammunition's depleted on this guy. Time to bring him closer for a glorious melee combat. Who's left? Is there a tank or something? No. Right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go Vigilance. Run up. Punch the guy. And then disappear like the morning mist next turn. Oh, we hit the leg. Not helpful. That CT can take a lot of abuse. So can the RT. Can I actually disappear like morning mist? Not sure I can. Because this guy's only got one jump jet. Unless I sprint. Yeah, we'll just sprint out. That's what that thick rear torso armor is for anyway. I'll send in the other Shadow Hawk to gum up the uh, movement. have a shot or a punch on anybody but you could DFA the Wolverine legs are in strong condition let's do it death from above, death from above! oh nice The hunchback, for whatever reason, did not have a shot. Now. The hunchback has always been the big threat. Affirmative. So what we're going to do, shoot him in the back and hopefully get rid of his weapon systems. Guarding does not save you from being uh, shot in the ass. Affirmative. 
Oh, AC20 ammo explosion! Bet that hurt. What's up, boss? Time to close the trap. No escape, my friend. You are in a hatred sandwich right now. And you are the filling. <laughs> Oh, his AC-20 just got destroyed! <laughs> you can't punch the guy right next to you. But you can punch the other two. That's interesting now, isn't it? Um, well, the hunchback's front is actually completely defended, so hitting it is a waste of time. At least from the front. So we might as well put some damage into the giant turkey. Oh nice, there goes his PPC. Their armament has all been dramatically reduced. Rear armor damage. But not very uh not very helpful. Roll up on him smooth and punch him in the back. Whack. Oof. Got me in the leg. Although this is the uh, Shadow Hawk that didn't DFA, so the leg should handle it. Okay, that's alright. That is okay. Please shoot this guy in the back and finish him. Nice! I know what you got, Mech Warrior. Twenty five damage. <laughs> Is that it? The Wolverine. Do I try and capture it or do I just blow it to bits? Eh, aim for head, get CT, right? Once again, no weapon systems in the arms. Well, since the giant turkey has had its go, I might as well just carry on firing at the Wolverine. Nearly got the CT. Nice! 
Nice. We can salvage that. I didn't even want to salvage it because I'm just I'm taking so much damage right now. It's time for damage mitigation more than anything else. Heading out. Fortunately, having killed this guy's main armament, he's reduced to doing his puny little kicks for 30 damage. Stand! Arise! <laughs> Headbutt! I think that's the end of Op 4 now. Just go and claim our money. Ready for orders. Uh, do I have to walk around? Yeah. Unfortunately, a mech with broken legs takes forever to uh, get anywhere. <laughs> so. Yes, Commander. Roger. Just sending the whole group in. Got it. Roger. This could finally be the payday we need. Heading out. We have the asset commander. Sweet. What an ambush. Played that really well. Show me that loot table. This damage is actually pretty light. It's just the leg damage that I took from doing a DFA. And no armament was lost on this mech. That's all just repair work. Um, grasshopper bit. Plus several pieces of trebuchet that we do not have a complete one of. Ballistic Shadow Hawk, not my favorite. Eh, Wolverine would have been a nice capture. That's the Ballistic Hunchback, it's no good to me. I guess it's just a little piece of everything today. And some junk. Eh! Salvage could have gone better, but there was no possibility for us to complete a mech, to be fair. Even if we had gotten uh, three parts of all of those. Spare parts for everyone. One day and 7,500 sea bills. Whoa, 200,000 sea bills to repair. Jesus. I didn't even lose any weapon systems. Someone's increased the costs. Stubborn surrender battle. 
this is the one we'll go for and the travel time will give us time to fix our stuff but before we go Large laser that can go. LRM ten that can go. Got seven of these. Must have been the old explosion of the SRM carrier. And it just rained SRMs. Right, um, hmm. Two nine or three twelve. I'm going to go with two nine just to keep on building up my C bills. Two nine gives me some scope to complete a mech if I find the right bits. <clears throat> while still building up my uh, reserve of sea bills. It's actually going to take slightly more time to fix the Shadow Hawk than I expected, but oh well. The sheer cost of the fixes as well is pretty high. It did take a lot of damage, to be fair. Okay. Not yet. Okay! That was a long mission. Took up the whole episode time, more or less. So, join me next time when we're going to do this contract. And I might not actually wait for the Shadow Hawk to be repaired. It's not the highest... Um, Jesus, four skull destroy base. Ugh. But that is nice. That's a huge amount of money for two skulls. And it's a capture base. Well, anyway, I might do the current contract just uh, using one of my Panthers or whatever. And then um, we will hit out another contract and just carry on building up. So, um,. I'll probably link this as a guide somewhere or whatever, but uh, this ambush, the ambush strategy on this map was really good. So, hope you learned something about that. <coughs> or hope you learned something there about luring enemies into an ambush and uh, learned something about hunchbacks with no rear armor. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>